welcome back. So for today's video, I am so excited because I finally got my hands on the P. Louise Rumor eyeshadow primer and I have it in the shade original. I know that she already came out with, I believe, five darker shades, but um, I waited a month for this to arrive. So we're just going to do it with this one. And what I've seen on Instagram that it is a very full coverage eyeshadow primer. You just have to pat it onto your eyes using a flat brush. She uses the MAC 251 or 252, I'm not sure. I don't have it here, but I do have the 242, which is the same brush, same hair, only smaller. So we're just going to use this one. I already did my brows. I have nothing on my face because um, I think it's going to be a very like heavy makeup look. So I'll do the base later. Um, what else do I need to say? Oh, you do not need to set this eyeshadow primer. So that's pretty scary. For those of you asking why it's red here, um, and here also, I had the Too Faced lip injection on my lip, but the color was terrible, so I was very smart and wiping it away on my face. So now, maybe I will get a plumbed mustache. Anyway, you do not need to set it, um, just apply it, you have to pat it in, and then go straight in with eyeshadow. So, wish me luck, let's hope this works. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely not my color. It's kind of a MAC NW20, very pink undertone. Um, I don't use a color like this, but it's okay. It's all about the product and if it works and how the eyeshadow looks. And it's a good thing that she has different colors right now. So if it works, there is no problem. So don't like the color. I'm going to start off with the brows. She was not lying when she said that it is full coverage. Damn girl. This is coverage, you guys. Coverage. Damn. Let me take a little bit more and pat it on. It is a very thick consistency. So if you don't like that, you're going to hate this product, but I don't mind. I like it to be thick. Okay, so this eyeshadow base is on. <laughs> pretty light but um let's just do some eyeshadow it feels kind of heavy to be honest like i can feel that i'm wearing a lot of concealer or primer on my face i can feel that i don't know how i feel about that but let's do eyeshadow okay so the first color i'm going to use is this orange or orange yellow shade by the festival palette juvia's place of course and I am going to use my Sigma E40. Okay, so you gotta work quick because I could already see a line. Do you see that? Like right here? My crease? Like it's starting to crease. That's weird. Maybe because she does makeup like this and she goes straight into eyeshadow. I think you have to work pretty quick. That is a lot of color, right? Okay, so I really have to get used to blending because um, normally I have powder on my concealer and right now, um, I don't know. I feel like there is a lot of the primer on my brush. Okay, so you really have to get through that. It is a very thick consistency. That's why it was not too easy to blend, but once like the eyeshadow is settled, it is very easy. Let's do another color. I'm going to use this color right here. Okay, now I start to get it. Like pigmentation, of course, the eyeshadow is good. It is the best eyeshadow I have ever tried, but pigmentation on the primer is insane. Don't want to bring it too far. 
up because I still want to see a little bit of that yellow. So I'm going back in a little bit of that yellow on top of the orange. Next, I'm going to take the red shade right here, which is called Isava or Isava. And this very small blending brush by Morphe, this is the E36. kind of turns into a pink shade instead of red. I'm switching to the Masquerade palette and I'm going to use the shade right here, which is called Zulu and uh, the same Sigma E36, just to deepen it a little bit more. So I think this is enough. I don't know if I want to have it like darker in here. You know what? I'm going to use this shade right here, my little crease, and that's like my E36 again. That's much better, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think I am going to cut my crease, not my entire crease, but maybe, I don't know, until here and by a lighter shade. I don't know. Now we're going to keep it safe and apply this one. Taking this lighter shade right here and the 242 again. It was easier to apply this shade with my hands than with the brush. I'm going to take Zulu again and apply that on the outer part of my eye. Okay, so the eyeshadow is on. I am very impressed about the pigmentation of the eyeshadow in combination with the primer. So I'm quickly going to do some liner and lashes and then I'll wrap up. I just did the eyeliner and I'm not going to brag, but this looks bomb, right? I think I never had a cut crease that was so sharp and um, eyeshadow that pigmented and blended. Like, I don't know, I am really impressed. I am going to do my right eye apply some lashes and again, I'll be back. So I know this sounds weird, but um, I am obsessed with my makeup and I didn't even do my face and the rest of the eyes. I'm quickly gonna do that and then be back, but I have no words. All right, so I am back and I'm looking at my computer and I look so pale. There is sunshine coming in this room, so if my lighting is a bit off, I'm sorry. Maybe I can fix it. Anyway, let's do the eyes. I'm gonna mix this one and that one. It was actually pretty simple. Just wanna have like the same color we have on the eyes, also underneath the eyes. A little bit more of that yellow shade. Because I want it to be a little bit more intense underneath my eyes, I'm taking this flat eyeshadow brush and this color again, the Zulu. And of course, a lot of eye cool. For lips, of course, we're gonna keep it nude. I have Hover Lip Liner by MAC or Hover, 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 this one. And I'm going to use MAC Peach Stock Lipstick. And of course, some lip gloss, and this is by JLo, the Inglot collaboration in gold lips. All right, you guys, so that was my first impression and a review on the new P. Louise Rumor eyeshadow primer, and I don't think I have to tell you anything more. This is amazing. I have never had my eyeshadow turn out to be this way, and I always wanted it to be this way because I tried. You know, I watched a lot of tutorials from Mitchell and P. Louise and every time I did that I was like, mm, nope, not really, but I think I'm getting there, you know? 
not trying to brag, but I'm getting there. I still need to work on some little things, but you know, we all have to learn and so do I. But for the primer, I am obsessed. This is really great. I'm going to check out uh, the other colors because I want it to be a little bit lighter because I don't like my brow bone to be this light. I think I am in the middle shade or whatsoever. So yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope the tutorial was helpful because it was kind of a tutorial and first impression in one. So yeah, that was it. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will talk to you soon.